Hi, and welcome back to the Arbor Active channel. We spend a lot of time processing firewood, but I haven't showed you a lot about what I'm doing with it. So, today we're going to spend some time on our outdoor wood boiler. We use this unit to heat the house. It's a relatively modern style gasification wood boiler, which means that it's higher efficiency and creates a lot less smoke than some of the older style wood boiler units that you might be familiar with. We start each morning cleaning the unit. A couple of pulls on the cleaning lever, and that scrubs some of the interior components of the stove. From there, we open up our smoke bypass, which allows smoke to escape from inside the firebox, so we don't have to deal with it when we open the front door. We last loaded the boiler about 12 hours earlier, so when we open the door, we'll find a nice bed of coals ready to put this morning's wood on top of to start the fire for the rest of the day. Maintaining the coal bed is important because that's what's going to start any new wood we throw in there. If we keep a nice healthy coal bed, the only thing we have to do all day to keep this going is to load it up once in the morning and once in the evening. On real cold days, we might have to load it a third time. The boiler likes to run with dry, split wood. It burns most efficiently and cleanest that way. So that's why we spend so much time splitting and processing firewood the rest of the year. This is a particularly small boiler. This heat master likes 17, 18 inch long logs, but there are models out there that you can put two foot long or even longer logs into. And since it's not that cold out right now, we don't need to load this up all the way. To get that 12 hour burn, we can fill the firebox up about halfway full and that'll get us all the way until tonight. Loading the boiler neatly in this north-south fashion will allow the wood on the top to gently kind of feed the coals as the wood on the bottom burns. What'll happen is if you load this too sloppily, the wood will catch on the sides or not make its way into the coal bed and your fire can eventually go out. Once you're all loaded up, you close your smoke bypass and you're good to go. Now, what makes this heat master gasification boiler a little bit different than the older styles is that where the heat is actually coming from is not the firebox, but this secondary chamber below the firebox. This boiler actually burns the smoke that's generated from the smoldering wood above. And that's what makes this such a low smoke system. Right here is gonna be the most smoke you'll ever see this system make. And what this is doing is heating water within a jacket around the firebox. So this system has about 90 gallons of water in it. And the pumps on the back here are pumping that water into the basement. That water travels through underground pipes, through the slab, over to an insulated heat exchanger. The hot water from a wood boiler heats the water that's going through the heating loop from the oil boiler. In effect, it preheats the water before it returns to the oil boiler so that the oil boiler never actually has to work. This setup also allows the oil boiler to heat the water in the wood boiler. So if we're ever away from the house or if the fire ever goes out, the oil boiler will heat the water that's traveling back to the wood boiler so that the unit doesn't freeze. Well, there's a quick overview on how we're using all that firewood we processed to feed this outdoor wood boiler. Thanks for checking out the Arbor Active channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to learn more about our firewood processing, this outdoor wood boiler, and to check out some of the other projects we'll have going on around the homestead this winter.